sure there's one straight bar missing. Yeah, that's it. You need steps. Yeah. Because you don't feel it. Right, it goes past it. Push it down there. You done? Yep. So you join me today back at the chateau and um, we are currently in the piggeries and stables area where we are working on at the moment on the current project. Now, as you subscribers know, for the last three and a half years, myself and Ted, my husband, has been renovating this derelict estate, Chateau de Montmagny, for, um, for us to be able to live in, have a business in, and for the public to be able to come and see because it's a historical monument that is over 700 years old. So the current project is turning the piggeries and stables into a gîte for me and Ted to live at the moment. After that, the next project will be the coaching house that we will eventually live in, but that will be some time down the line yet. Anyway, today I'm working in the bathroom and I'm working on my big project on the wall. Now, those of you that may have seen the previous vlog about the canvas that I did, trialing out this big piece of artwork that I'm now gonna transform to my big wall. I'm really nervous, I'm really worried about it, but I just want to give it a go. And I know there's a lot of scepticism out there. Is that a word, scepticism? Scepticism? I don't know. Anyway, I know a lot of you are very unsure whether this is gonna work or not. I too am unsure whether it's gonna work or not. So keep watching and we'll see together. Yeah, let's give it a go. Let's just get on with it and do it. Okay, so it's time to get started. I'm quite nervous about this. You know, I took all this time to make this wall nice and smooth and flat and lovely. And now I'm gonna mess it up. But um, it's just, it may go horribly wrong. And I'm gonna put this vlog out anyway, even if it goes horribly wrong, because I think we have to show mistakes as well as all the good stuff. But um, I just, I don't know why, I really want to try the project on this wall. And, uh, and just see how it goes and just do something really, really different. Anyway, so you may remember that when I did the trial run on the canvas, I used cardboard, took the top layer off to get the corrugated um, sort of sections to make textures on it. I would need so much cardboard to be able to do this wall. So I've got a load of Enduit. Um, it's jointing compound that I used when I was doing the tape and jointing and um, it's an old bucket, it's gone off a little bit, so it's no good now for the jointing compound to me to use on the walls, but it could be used on this. So it saves me buying anything else. Um, you could use wood filler, you could use any sort of paste that's gonna go hard. So you could use MAP, multi-adhesive purpose stuff. Um, yeah, there's lots of different things you could use. And, but I've got this left over, so it means it's free. I don't have to use it. It would have to be thrown away because it's no good for, for what I bought it for now. Um, so I'm gonna use this to make textures on the wall. And I've got loads of different tools that I've just brought up with me. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use yet. But um, yeah, just lots of tools to see what I can use to make all these different textures. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. Fingers crossed on this one. Let's give it a go. Let's get started.
always work out what will be a good height for a shelf. I'm thinking of me, but then I'm really short. But then I'm the one that's going to be using it. <laughs> We're going to go with 42. Ted will probably come back. He's out for a minute and go, no! So, 42. Now, this is just to give me a rough idea. What is centimeters? What is centimeters on here? Uh, that must be centimeters. So the mirror. Okay, so this is my shelf. Can you see that? This is my shelf. So it's kind of boob height with me. I don't want it any lower and I don't really want it any higher. It just looks a bit low, but I think that'll be fine. Let's hope Ted agrees when he gets home. So, I've done the top bit. Got my texture, my first texture on there because there will be more going on. This part here, we have a shelf going in, and what I want to do is mould. I, I, it's really hard to explain. I want to do some moulding that looks like it's going into the shelf to make it look like a piece of driftwood on this bit here. So I've, I, you won't be able to see this, but I've just sort of pencilled some markings in, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that how I hope I'm going to do that. I've seen it on a YouTube clip, so I'm hoping that I can reenact it. Okay, now I've got my look-alike piece of wood, driftwood. It will look like a piece of driftwood, I promise you. I hope it does anyway. I now just want to put a kind of thin line above it of sand. So what I'm gonna do is mix and sand with the compound, jointing compound, um, and then apply it that way and give that a go. Now I've just put a bit of sand in a bucket and I'm just mixing it with it and that will hopefully just give it a lot more texture as well. <laughs> Bless you. We've got Ted working in here at the moment behind me on the toilet installation. Now, please remember, I've never done this before. And I know this wall is gonna have a lot of controversy between people. A lot of people aren't gonna like it, a lot of people will like it. But um, you have to remember that this bathroom is the jeep where me and Ted will be living until finally, a few years down the line, we start work on the big coach house. Now, I've always said that I don't like trends. I hate it when you go on to buy stuff um, online from the internet and it says, what's trending? What's most popular? Because I don't care. I don't want to be the same as everybody else. You know, it's always good to go into friends' houses and take ideas from them. I do it a lot with Deb and Jo and Jo obviously with her frou-frou, all of her candles and her lovely bits of art that are all around the place, which is objects that she uses as pieces of art, is amazing. And, and Deb's obviously with her crafting, all the things that she has. 
And it's nice to go around friends' houses and take ideas and inspiration from what they have. But they don't want you to be exactly the same as them and I don't want to be exactly the same as them. So um, I always say, try not to go on, click on where it says trending now and most popular. Just do what you want to do, it's your house. Who cares if somebody else doesn't like it? You're the one that's living in it. You're the one that's got to enjoy it. And that's why I'm doing this. Now, the problem with doing this on the wall, as you will see, is gravity pulls everything down. So you have to be so careful. Now I didn't need to use my wire brush, I just used my fingers. I just sort of give you a peek of what it's like after day one. Anyway, I'm really, I'm actually really pleased with it. I was so nervous this morning about starting it. And to the point where if I hadn't have done the previous vlog of me doing it on the canvas and telling everybody I was going to do it on the big wall, I might have actually um, bottled out of it. Whipped out. I would have whipped out, I think, this morning. I was so nervous. But, yeah, it's going really well, actually. And I'm so pleased that it's actually stuck to the wall Anyway, there's quite a lot more days to go before it'll be a finishing touch, but um, day one's out of the way. See you all soon. Bye. So that's end of day one of the wall art. There's a lot more days to come. So this week, I'm going to be doing a daily vlog on the progress that I make on the wall. Stay tuned. Come back tomorrow. See you then, everyone.